Well, there's a lot to know about the Buckeye Lake area, and you're about to find out about it. Hey, it's Ohio Jimbo, and I am out here at Buckeye Lake in, uh, well, just east of Millersport, Ohio. And um, the lake is in a little bit of an excitement this morning because what's about to happen here is they're about to dam the lake up and bring the water levels back to where the economy is going to actually be able to benefit from it again. This happens once a year, every year on March 1st. But at the end of the boating season, they drop the water levels down. If you look behind me, you can see the level on the uh, retaining wall there. There's about a three foot difference. And what does that mean to the economy? It means that once that water level gets right back up to where it was, then boats can start to come in here again and they can actually bring them in and they'll visit restaurants and stores all along the shores. The homeowners along here, they have their docks that allow them to get out and enjoy the recreation on the lake or maybe go out for dinner. There's a lot that happens here and it all begins as soon as they dam the lake up. Well, only moments ago, this water was rushing through. And if you look in here, you can actually see fish swimming about in the water there. You can see the ripples of the water where the fish are trying to scoot around. There was water coming through and you can see where the water level was up on the rock. Well, it's kind of dropping down now because what's happened is this is March 1st and um, we are at the spillway for the new dam here at Buckeye Lake in Buckeye Lake, Ohio. They have closed the dam for the spring. And the reason they do that during the winter time, they wanna make sure that they don't get an overflow of water or anything coming through here and causing any big problems. So they have literally started to fill the lake back up. And you're probably wondering what in the world would they be doing that for? Well, there's a long story behind what Buckeye Lake is, how it happened and why they do this every year. So March 1st marks the date when they come over here and they shut these gates to let the lake fill back up. And there's a, a kind of a rejoicing feeling here that businesses in Buckeye Lake are all excited about it. So they know that this water level, going back to that level that you see on the concrete there, is important for business. So in order for you to understand the uh, excitement that's out here for a lot of business owners, I gotta tell you the whole backstory of what Buckeye Lake is. Well, first of all, Buckeye Lake is a, an amazing part of Ohio history as much as it's America's history because Buckeye Lake was started as a feeder lake for the canal system. If you haven't heard of the Ohio Erie Canal, it was canal systems that went from Lake Erie all the way down to the Ohio River. It was the transportation system that preceded rails. And it was really an important factor for all the towns along each one of the parts of the canal. So here in Millersport, Ohio, they had a canal feeder coming through here. And Millersport, there was so much going on in this area for grain and for wood and for everything that they needed that transportation system. Well, thanks to a glacier about 10,000 years ago, Mother Nature melted a glacier and left this swamp area. And this swamp area was literally just a depression from where the ice sat. It pushed in from as far north as Wisconsin and it pushed a lot of debris this way. And as it did and left a big dip here at Buckeye Lake, it's allowed this kind of swampy area to be a recession. Enough that Millersport could say, hey, I think if we just kind of set a dam system here, we could keep water in the area and keep feeding the canals and help our business. So that's exactly what they did. It wouldn't only help keep that water flowing through the canals, but it would allow people to go north from here because what would happen is they would have a lock system and the boat would pull into a lock. They would shut the door behind them so the water level could start to rise. Coming from the north, the water that would be coming in would rise just enough that now the boat could go further up and they'd do the same thing and the water would keep rising. And that water that was going into those channels north of here was from feeders. However, the Buckeye Lake system, that was the water that kept it and would flow it south from here and heading towards the Ohio River so they could do the same thing. Boats could come up from the Ohio River as long as water kept being fed to it. And if there was a good resource of water, well, that would help the economy. So they built the canal system and this lake was the retention pond for this central area. But having said all that, the lake itself 
The average depth is only six feet deep, six feet deep throughout this entire lake. That's how shallow this area is. Now there are parts that are 14, 15 feet deep. As a matter of fact, by the bog is a no wake zone to protect the bog. And that's one of the deepest parts of the lake. But you can imagine if the lake's only six feet deep average during the season, right now when they've lowered the water, they've lowered it by three feet. So there's really not much depth to this lake right now at all. So that affects how many boats can come on the lake, of course. Once they fill it back up, the boats will come out, the business will pick up and everybody will be happy again. But that's why they go about this damming system. Now, keep in mind, the dam all the way down through this part of the lake is 4.1 uh, miles long. So it's over four miles long of a dam. Now that's an earthen dam and that earthen dam was having some issues back in the uh, 2015, they determined that there could be a catastrophic failure. And when they say catastrophic failure, they mean it because it could affect thousands of businesses along uh, Route 79 here in downtown Buckeye Lake, uh, more than 3,000 residents. So there could be a, a very, very dangerous situation. And it wouldn't be something like, oh, here comes a flood. No, it would be the earth would give away, the water from the lake would just flood out and we'd have a bad day, a real bad day. So what they did was they took the dam and they reinforced it with a 35 foot area of this berm that they added to the original dam. Before they put that 35 foot of fill in, they dug down 40 feet and put a slurry all along this area. And then they put that 35 foot berm on top of it. They even threw a walkway on top of it so that people could uh, ride bikes and such. But obviously it's, it's also for service vehicles so they can get to the dam in case anything happens. But this has developed more business in the area because now not only is it secure, but it's accessible, highly accessible. People can ride their bikes along here, walk along here, and everybody does. This has become a great walking path, a great tourist attraction, so you can get from point to point through here. But it's a wonderful thing that's happened for the area. And then they, they reconstructed a spillway so that the spillway would be able to be controlled. And when that spillway opens up in the late, late fall, it drains the lake down to the level for winter so that nothing happens during snow, during ice, during rainstorms, and nothing can pressure the wall. And then March 1st, which coincidentally is today, they close that and it starts to raise the water back up. Here's the interesting thing. It doesn't raise the water up just by raising the water up because feeders, it needs rain. It needs lots of rain to fill this lake back up. So as it fills up, everybody around here gets excited because that means people are coming back and they're gonna enjoy their time out here at Buckeye Lake. Well, we're here at Sellers Point. This is a great area to see what the dam is all about because first of all, you can see the water level here where it will be this summer. And um, well, there's, there's a boater out there. But the lake itself, it's, uh, it's a lot of a huge volume of water. It will uh, fill up. And now what we're seeing here is this is actually the dam. And you can see the houses are right on the dam. And these are beautiful houses. This isn't, uh, they, I mean, they used to be cottages and some people called them shacks and such years ago. And uh, people would lease land from the state and put a, uh, like a winter shack out here, or a summer shack actually, to, you know, just fishing cabins, but it's changed. The development in this area has been really unprecedented. And as people are building more and more, uh, let's say expensive structures here, it was shocking to think that this dam could have just washed away and took everything with it. So it's fascinating because now these people that live on this area are living in a beautiful area that has access to the economic boost every year that this provides. And it's a, it's a state park. So these people border a state park with now a protective dam that keeps them safe and this is a great walking path and biking path and such. But the real cool thing about this is this is Ohio's first state park. In case you didn't know it, this Buckeye Lake is Ohio's first state park. And they've really done everything they can to keep this thing growing, this area growing. And wow, like I said, if you look at just some of these houses down through here, you'll see that the, uh, the economic boom is just beginning. So 
hopefully you get out here and experience this because I'll be honest, walking along this path, it's kind of cool because you get, a, you get a look at all these houses and such and what people are living like out here at the lake. Uh, it's open to the public, so you're able to come out here, bring your bicycle, come out and enjoy yourself. If you look real close, you can see the water line. And this is where the water line will have to be, if you can see on those posts there, in order for boats to be able to load in and out here at this boat ramp. And they can't do that until the water level's up. And each winter they drain the water level. And as they're draining the water level and letting the lake sort of settle during the winter months, they start to fill back up, but it only fills from rainwater. So you can imagine it's a mixed emotion. You're really wanting rain out here at Buckeye Lake over the next couple of weeks. So everybody watches the weather charts and it affects businesses everywhere from restaurants along the main strip on the inland part to everybody on the shore from homeowners to businesses to recreation. It's all affected by the level of the lake. So today, March 1st is a great day to celebrate it. I mean, it's beautiful out right now with a gorgeous sun, sunrise, but uh, uh, everybody wants rain right now because that's the only thing that's gonna fill us up. There's no natural feeders. There used to be, but they've kind of closed those off. So, and, and you might be asking yourself, why do they lower the lake during the winter time? I've heard a lot, a lot of different answers to that question. And, and maybe you can educate me, throw some comments below if you know anything about it. My assumption is, that because of the earthen dam, without putting pressure on it, this lake does freeze over in the winter. And I'm assuming, again, it's an assumption, that because of the pressure of the ice and the water, that it could have damaged that dam back in the days. Now they've got a beautiful dam system there. And this is one of the only uh, of, of a couple different lakes here in Ohio that are retention ponds for the Ohio Erie Canal system uh, that they still drain. And I'm not quite sure why, uh, and I think that everybody I ask here in Buckeye Lake is has a different answer as to why. And But truthfully, it does affect the economy out here. And it affects, for instance, all the marinas. They've got boats that are sitting there in blue wraps and, and winterized. And, and they're, they're working on it for maintenance or engineering. Something on the boat, getting it ready for the season. They still can't do anything with it until this water level rises. So right now, all the marinas are loaded up with boats. And they're just sitting on land waiting until they can put them back in. When they put them back in, the hustle bustle of the area just starts booming. So you can see that this impact, if you didn't know it, is a very, very strong impact on the economy out here, local businesses, people who live out here. And of course it does bring so much tourism. So the next time you come to Buckeye Lake, you, uh, you might appreciate the fact for how much it takes just to get this lake ready for you to come out here and boat and have some fun. Okay, so I'm standing here above one of the canals for the canal system. And this was part of the Ohio Erie Canal system. So it went from Erie, Lake Erie, all the way down to the Ohio River. Canals were everywhere. It wasn't one straight canal. It was a multitude of canals, just like we have streets to this day. The rail system came in shortly after this entire canal system was built. So it really became abandoned relatively quickly. But during the time that it was needed, as you can look at this canal here, this canal is literally down to just inches deep. How important it was for Buckeye Lake to be a retention pond, well, a feeder lake, if you will, for this canal system was unprecedented. So that's why they put a lot of energy into building this. And that's why up until the rail system came in, Buckeye Lake was a very important part of the transportation system through Ohio. Little by little, now the water's gonna start filling up. And so will the areas where tourists gather because you know this gets a lot of people hanging out here and just enjoying themselves and relaxing by the lake all of these docks will be full of boats literally full of boats jet skis. hopefully you know a little bit more about the system out here uh, it's interesting it's unique uh, it's definitely historic and it's a it's a fun place to visit the people out here are so kind they invite you to come out and experience the area and hopefully, hopefully soon we'll be able to do it by boat. But for now, you can come in by roadway and you can visit the restaurants and the stores and support the businesses that are out here. But for the most part, the lake is waiting. They're waiting now for rain and they're waiting for the excitement and the sounds of people starting to load their boats into the lake and enjoy themselves here on this beautiful area of uh, the old Ohio Erie Canal system. Hey, thanks for coming along for this quick tour of Buckeye Lake and finding out a little bit about 
the hows and whys that happens out here at this area. And uh, well, until the next time I see you, this is Ohio Jimbo. We'll find out what's next. Hit that subscribe button. Click the bell too. That way you'll know when we upload another video.